Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to discuss the electronegativity trend of atoms on the periodic table. The goals for this lesson is that you will be able to identify the electronegativity trends on the periodic table, rank atoms based on electronegativity, predict the electronegativity of an atom based on its location on the periodic table, and explain how valence electrons impact electronegativity. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to take an electron, take an electron. The group trend, it increases from bottom to top on the periodic table. The reasons for this is the atomic radius decreases, so there are fewer energy levels. Fewer energy levels is less shielding of the electrons. The shielding means that they are not as subjected to the force of the nucleus, the, pro the positive charge of the nucleus. When you have less energy levels, so let's look at fluorine. Fluorine has one and two. In the middle of the proton, we have nine protons in the nucleus. Because there's only two energy levels, these electrons feel the force of the positively charged nucleus more than if there were more energy levels. So this positive charge, it's easier to take an electron from another atom because the nucleus isn't shielded either. And so this electron from sodium is more readily taken by fluorine than if you look at iodine, which has more electrons and more energy levels to shield that positive force of the nucleus. The period trend for electronegativity is it increases from left to right. The reason is the nuclear charge increases, so there's more protons. The same with elect um, atomic radius, because there's no more protons, it, the electrons are pulled in more strongly. Exception is noble gases. They have the full S and P orbital sublevels, so there's no room for more electrons. Also, if you remember, electronegativity is the ability to take an electron. Well, sodium has one valence electron. It, it would take a whole lot of energy for sodium to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more valence electrons to make itself happy to fulfill its octet rule. So it's going to give it up a lot easier, but fluorine, fluorine already has seven valence electrons. It just needs this one space right here to be filled in order to complete its octet. So it's going to take that electron much quicker and much easier than sodium would because sodium would need seven and fluorine only needs one. On your own periodic table, draw your electronegativity trends in yellow like this. So increasing from left to right and increasing up a group or a family. So your turn to practice. Which element has the highest electronegativity? Iron or cobalt? Cobalt. Why do you think that? Gold or silver? Why? So iron is right here and cobalt is right next to it. So cobalt would have the higher electronegativity because electronegativity trends increases from left to right across a period. Gold or silver? Gold is here. Silver is right above it. Silver would have the higher or larger electronegativity because electronegativity increases as you go up the, um, up the group. Here's another explanation. The reason why cobalt is because it has more nuclear charge and more protons. Silver, it has fewer energy levels and it has less shielding of its nucleus.